Oh my god, Mume. I mean, you know, everybody, every savage character has their off days. And Mume, this episode was your off day, okay? You really fucked up the plan. Because Ikoma's plan was to go in, not, not to, not to have a lot of heat on them, okay? Get to the, get to the, uh, the whole crane operator, put it on, crank it up, use a crane, take that object, lift it up so the train can move, okay? And get the people where they need to be, okay? You just, every, ever since you talked to that dude, Inoku, he fucked your head up. He fucked your head up, okay? And he talked about your mission, your brother, don't be abandoned, you know what I'm saying? Don't use. I'm pretty sure, high chance, Mumei's brother is a dick, an asshole, okay? And they and he talked about people are, are gathering weapons and killing humans, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, it seemed like Mumei's brother uses people, and when they're not, like, useful no more, he abandons them. Okay, but Noku, something happened to him, okay, and I guess Mumei's brother abandoned him, he wants to get back to where he was, you know, we see a little glimpse of what happened in Mumei's past with a certain female character, and she got shot and died, I don't know if she was bitten, but yeah, Mumei was going through it in this episode, I mean, she pretty much, you know, f made the situation really worse, activating and you know and provoking the cabane until this ginormous the black smoke and this ginormous combined power ranger fucking monster cabane creature ginormous form okay and you know she really fucked up the plan to hell okay she really i i'm pretty sure it's her fault Okay, because she went in there hot, she went in the other way, in the front door, attracting all this cabane, provoking them, a coma's plan was to go in, sprint the cell, covert ops, okay, straight up in there, MGS style, trank tranquilizer, okay, silence, get to the where they need to be, go around, not attract a lot of heat, okay, and just... Just Mume, okay? She has some crazy, you know, she's a savage. She's a great, great combat fighter. Okay, her scene was crazy, but the whole mission was to go in, okay, just to talk to Anoka, fuck her head up, okay? Being abandoned, you know, being useful, you know, kill, kill, kill the Kabane, okay? Just, I'm, I'm a wolf, I, I gotta feed, I gotta get on this. You know, Ikoma just taking charge, taking lead. I really like that. He was, he, was, he he made the plan, taking charge. He told his friends that I got the crane. You know, Mume, I guess was facing against a Rosatori, got fucked up, got thrown off the crane. Okay, Koma had to you know stop the crane operation to go save Mume. Okay, all of a sudden the, you know the whole steam power steam place. He just burst out in this black smoke. Kabane, just ginormous Kabane just form okay they can't move because the whole the crane didn't lift up the the uh the object high enough for the train to move so they're like it's a it's an intense crazy cliffhanger it's like holy shit the whole p boulders and debris falling mume and they come out and say mume he's in this i guess his cave this tunnel okay i guess mining tunnel uh, and it's like, okay, Koma looked like he got hurt, injured really bad, saving Mume. And they're out of commission, especially Mume. Very, very useful combat warrior. They, they, the people gotta deal with this. Humans gotta deal with this black smoke cabana. It's like, oh god, oh my god, intense. Inoku talking to uh, Mume, they have history, they know each other, and a little glimpse of Mume's past. Looks crazy, looks intense. Mume's brother, possibility, big chance he's a dick, he's an asshole. Uh, uh, but Mume was going through this episode just really out of it. My, mentally, but not physically. She was mentally out of it. Maybe physically, she was tiring out. Physically, she was getting worn out, tiring down. Yeah, so men mentally and physically, she was out of it. She was really out of it right now, and just the whole conversation with Inoku just fucked her sh her mindset up, and you know it made her make ma it made her make rash decisions and not think things through. Ikoma's plan was really good. If you really think about it, what he, what his plan was safety and and worrying about the people and getting everybody to safety and not having casualties, not getting people bitten. This operation was you know 
was really good. Also, it come up with the steam bullets. I guess also it's strengthening the swords. Well, I guess with Kabane uh, parts. So there's that. Okay, strengthening the blades of the sword. So he's improving his tech, the technician. He's improving weapons. He's coming up with plans. He's a, he's being a leader. Okay, he's he just uh. He's making, he sacrificed himself and, you know, trying to get the job done, okay? You know what? Koma is a fucking beast, okay? Let's just say it, man. He's a beast since episode one, okay? And Koma is coming a long way. He's progressing. He's getting stronger. He's being a leader. He's being a strong character. He's not reverting back. He's not, he's not being weak. He may have a little, you know, a little soft, weak moments, but, you know, he's, 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 Coming into a being a kaba, uh, a kabanari and he's no what he's worth and he's you know what to do okay got a job you're gonna do it okay and he's not gonna like hurt his friends he's, he's gonna come up with a plan to make this all go smooth okay but yeah the the whole this whole episode was crazy cliffing oh my god what are they gonna do Ikoma and Mume are out of commission for right now so they gotta deal with that black smoke kabane creature. Ginormous Megazord motherfucker, okay? It's like, what the fuck? Well, anyway, guys, I see you later. Uh, what episode is this? Oh, it's episode five. Kabane of the Iron Fortress. Kabanari of the Iron Fortress. Uh, episode five. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, Ayame. I want to see more of Ayame. She comes off like a damsel in distress. I mean, she had that one crazy savage moment, okay, in the train. Last episode, with the steam arrow and bone arrow. That was beastie. Going on the front lines, fighting with her people. That was beast. But Yame, she's... I know I know she's royalty and princess, okay, really high up. But damn, she comes off. Don't please don't make her like a damsel in distress, like a wig. Like, oh, she's pretty, like a princess. Oh, my God. I want her to be gritty, okay? I want her, you know, when the, when the time comes, or the train scene last episode, get that steam bone arrow and whoop some fucking ass, okay? And stop being wig and stop put, giving people crusty fucking cronies the master key. And, you know, oh, you guys are right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not in charge. You guys be in charge. Like bitch, get your get your way up, get your way to because your 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 right hand man people what what they what they won't be here. You have to step up. Like come on, how to step up? Okay, you gotta be a leader. Shit, damn, people look up to you. People look look for you to lead. Come on, get it together. Oh, uh, since Mume and, and Koma that commission, oh, it's your time to step the fuck up. It's your time to lead the people because they're gonna look for you. Okay, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You get your right hand man's hurt. What you, what you, what you gonna look for? We gonna look for the lead. If, uh, exactly. Yeah, it's a very intense, very stressful moment right now. A lot of pressure's on you, but you gotta. You know what? You know what? It's time to step up. It's time to step up. But people, I see you guys episode five. Coming out of Iron, Iron Fortress. I see you guys later, Mume. Damn, 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 but Ikoma greatness. Ikoma, Ikoma greatness right now. But anyways, I'm out, guys. See you later.